Hey YouTube, this is Rishika and this would be my 16th video tutorial on data stage. In my previous video, I, I, I dealt with the processing stages and uh, we finished with aggregator, copy, filter and in this video, I'm gonna focus on funnel stage. So yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. We don't have uh, much uh, options I would say for the funnel stage okay so yeah before uh, before getting into the funnel stage let me tell you it's a processing stage again obviously because we read from different sources and write your single output so funnel stage can have n number of input links but can have only one output link and it can't have a reject link so that's it so it, it, it works as in like in SQL it's pretty much as union all if you if you if you write something if you're trying to uh, join two tables or something yeah you use union all right so yeah that's pretty much how this uh, funnel is I mean we can relate uh, every stage I mean not every stage but most of the stages to SQL so yeah so union all represents a funnel stage and uh, basic so what is what is the functionality of this funnel stage is this stage basically allow us to combine separate data sets like from n multiple uh, n n uh, n number of uh, sources into one single large data set data set or one one single large uh, what do i say like output of data that's it so yeah and yeah uh, if you, if if you know uh, if you know sql or sql uh, they say that when you are using union all the important thing is the metadata or the column structure they need to be same like they need to have like exact the same structure between the two tables like when you're trying to union all between the two tables these columns and these metadata and that metadata should be identical i'm saying identical it's not same it's identical as uh, i mean positive i mean same as uh, everything in like identical right you you know what, what identical is so i need not explain that so yeah so the most important thing is the metadata of all the input data sets must be identical so just remember that so yeah this is one of the important questions they say uh, i want to uh, i want to just have uh, i want to write multiple da uh, multiple inputs of data to one single and uh, could you use, which stage do you use so the first question you should ask them is is the metadata same if, if you don't want to ask ju just tell them clearly that if metadata is the same i'll go for funnel stage and if it's metadata is not same then depends on the requirement i'm gonna use join merge or something like lookup so yeah that's how uh, you can use this funnel stage and yeah let me just uh, design first for you uh, because we can't use database stages because we don't have uh, multiple data I mean tables which have similar uh, things so let me just use the sequential file stages I'm gonna use three different uh, inputs that's that's the best thing I thought of so okay let me just pull this yep now everything seems good uh, and then the final data, uh, final output would be my data set. Okay, so yeah, so I'm writing from three different sources which have the same metadata to once. Uh, so basically, it's funnel, right? So everything is like combining together and then writing it uh, coming as a one single thing. So that's it. So that's pretty much. And let's see now the what are the funnel uh, properties we have nothing else except this funnel type right so continuous funnel continuous funnel means it combines the records of the input data uh, i mean it's there is no specific order followed by the input i mean when you see uh, when you have like three different uh, input sources of data and you're writing into one single large data set it doesn't follow any uh, specific order it's like random right uh, ran, ran, it, it's it's like random uh, I mean to say what is like uh, what is continuous mean uh, mean exactly mean is it takes one record from each input link and then if if okay so let's say it takes first record from the sequential file stage and it it uh, takes uh, it tries to see what the second in uh, second record from the sequential file stage and if 
this uh, this is taking time to read then it gonna have three i mean whatever the process whatever the records that uh, that it, that are read it gonna just uh, just place them in the output it doesn't really have any anything uh, it doesn't really wait for the other records to be read in sequence or something like that so just random you can say as soon as the records are read it's it's written to the output that's it so it doesn't follow any specific pattern to write to the output data set so that's one type and the other type is sequence sequence is it copies we have three data set uh, three different sources right so sequence we are saying that i i want it in sequence when you when you say the funnel type as sequence it copies all the records from the uh, all the records from the first input data and then goes to the second data second input source and then and then to the third so it going to have so when we when we uh, when we have like output we going to have all the records from the first first source and then all the records from the second source and then all the records from the third source so that's how it's sequence right so yeah that's how it uh, it pretty much uh, works but when you're trying to have sequence or uh, sequence the link ordering it's it's pretty important because you uh, this basically uh, as i said in previous uh, videos link ordering is you are specifying the order in which the link in which the links input uh, to the funnel stage are processed i mean to the stage are processed right so yeah in this funnel stage if you if you are trying to use the sequence funnel and you want uh, you want those records to be written in a sequence so what you want to do is you want to change the link order as per your uh, data or as per your requirement so yeah let's say uh, we want to we want to just uh, we want to first read with 33 and then 28 and then 30 so what you want to do is first read 33 right so just move it to top and then you want to read 28 and then 30 so see so this is how uh, this works so whatever the data is in 33 so that is written first and then after 28 and then 30 this is for sequence type okay so that's how a uh, sequence works i'm now coming to the the final thing sort thing so sort yeah it's a uh, your sorting so on what basis you're sorting obviously key based right every sorting is key based right so yeah sort uh, combines input records in the order defined by this key specification so we're going to we can have like multiple uh, key values we can define multiple key values but if we define one uh, primary key Uh, basically it checks for the first uh, first key values and then uh, other other key values if that key value is same then it going to check for the other or secondary key column values so that's how uh, this sorting works um uh, it has some sub properties obviously this key is a repeatable property and it has some sub properties uh, the sort order it's mandatory so it's ascend basically it's asking us whether it's ascending or descending that's it right it's pretty simple and the other properties are case sensitive case sensitive means uh, it's asking uh, it's nothing nothing like uh, okay so case sensitive is whether it's asking mm, it, it's asking us to all, uh, specify whether each key is case sensitive or not that's it so this is always if you select case sensitive it's always true so you you're saying that if uh, you're saying that the value is case sensitive so yeah just uh, if it's false you need not if it's false you need not really choose it because if you are saying it's not case sensitive so why to choose the property right so yeah just remind and then nulls position nulls position this uh, uh, basically it, this nulls or nulls position option or property can be defined only for the nullable columns key when you are choosing key you can't choose null null uh, nullable columns right because if you choose nullable columns how it gonna sort uh, sort the null things right so yeah when you uh, when you hit uh, when you don't have so when you choose uh, any 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 other key with nullable nullable columns let's say something we have uh, okay so the first key we we have uh, okay so let's uh, select another key okay so this is my primary key and i don't have option in here because the primary key is always uh, always not null right and the secondary key let's say i have duplicates in here so the secondary key uh, uh, so when whenever we have duplicates it going to check the second key right so yeah second key i am putting here nulls position so when the second key has nulls that means that the second key 
should be always have nullable columns it 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 depends it, it doesn't mean that the key uh, shouldn't have null values but it's we prefer that way we choose to prefer that way right we always prefer a uh, key values which are not null right so yeah you can have it here too it, it doesn't matter but yeah i'm just explaining it so yeah you can choose the null um, can be def uh, i mean obviously it can be defined for nullable columns and by default the columns containing the null values always appear first uh, in the funnel the data set i mean the output data set but if you want to uh, or if you want to if you, if you don't want those funnels to appear first you can just hit last so whatever the null values are present they're going to appear in the last uh, last uh, last uh, thing whatever your uh, property type is if it's uh, if it's uh, continuous if it's continuous random right in random it doesn't really matter so it's gonna write last and in sequence it's one data set after the other and after the other right so it's gonna check uh, for the our null records in the first input data set and if it's any null is record null record is written it's gonna write that nil that null record in the last last thing of that particular output and then it goes to the next ne second thing so that's how it works nulls position and the other thing is what is that okay sort as update uh epidic, it, it, it <laughs> you don't need to worry about that it's basically asking us it's one of the character sets so it's basically asking us to sort based on that and all that stuff so yeah you need not worry worry about it and um, yeah the other thing about the sort funnel is when you choose sort funnel the important thing is all the data all the input data sets like the source data sets or the source data should I mean must be sorted it's not sure but it must be sorted by the same key values as <clears throat> by the same key values sorry uh, used by here I mean whatever the key values you use here based on I mean uh, those key values this the input data sets should be sorted based on this key values you select here so that's one thing and the other thing is uh, basically I mean uh, practically speaking all the all the input uh, input source data uh, which whenever we use sort funnel operation all the input data sets are basically hash partition right because uh, I mean before sorting we're gonna use hash partition because obviously if uh, if you use hash partition all the key values gonna uh, gonna gonna reside into one one specific partition so that easily sorting can be done easily right so that makes a lot of sense right so yeah that's that's the other thing and if you don't do hash partitioning in your source data then uh, i mean okay so the other thing is if if you, if you don't um, if 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 hash partitioning is not done uh, or if if it's not done then you can just uh, yeah you can just uh, do hash partitioning and if it's done in the previous stages yeah you can just pre uh, preserve partitioning right so yeah that's how this works so yep that's pretty much about this uh, sort funnel i mean sort funnel stage and all the other types of funnel now uh, we don't have anything about here yep columns it's pretty much same because it doesn't have any reject output output links so yep that's pretty much same okay now let's uh, design a job so uh, okay let me show you i have i have data i have created a data because i don't want to waste the time thinking about the data so yeah so merchant ID, merchant name, and status. This, these are the, my column names. So I have three, uh, three mm, records, and funnel two. See, I have same. I'm using the same, right? Same thing, metadata. I need to have the same metadata. If I have like the fourth column or only two columns, it doesn't work that way. It throws some error and says, uh, you can't even choose the mapping columns and all that. So yeah, the metadata should be always same and yep and this is my second metadata and the, in the third metadata i put some null 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 values so that uh it would it, it would allow us to uh see what's happening in this so yep it doesn't have uh, the first record doesn't have motion name and the third record doesn't have the status <coughs> okay and <coughs> sorry and every file is pipe delimiter file okay so yeah now let's uh, import our table definitions so let's import our table definition and 
so funnel one import okay obviously first line in column names and delimiter is always comma i mean my my file has comma so uh, it doesn't matter and define i gonna have merchant id and the other thing if you remember uh you need to choose this not nullable columns uh this thing because if you don't choose you are merging all the three input data sets into one right so when you when you don't have uh, these two nullable i mean if you don't have a uh, nullable values even though you don't have nullable values these need to be checked yes because if you don't check that what happens is obviously the one which we have with the null values is written and that says that the values with the null you have values uh, you have values with the null but the output data set which you are writing are not null so yeah that's that's what uh, the error comes i hope you got it so yeah basically the error says that uh, the other two sources are not nullable columns and the third is nullable column so you can't do it that way every other every source should have the same data type or same everything else so yeah so you just need to make sure that these because these two we have nullable columns in the third uh, source right so yeah just remember that and click on that uh, in real time you don't uh, you don't need to worry about because everything is like uh, everything is predefined they're gonna have they're gonna say as what's happening <clears throat> what we need to do so just figure out uh, the code and the design that's it and let's do the three two first line in column names and define and x key and yes and yes okay so now everything is perfect as per the source okay <laughs> yeah. now uh, let's give the path here so I'm not changing any uh, any formatting or anything I'm just like uh, giving the path so what's our path funnel one right okay so funnel one and first line in column names yes it's true and that's it I'm not changing anything else and columns I'm just jumping the columns funnel one okay that's it and the second one browse for file and funnel two and first line in column names again true and dump your columns here funnel two okay and then click on okay the data works so you need not worry about that let's three let's see this data because we have nulls right so let's see if if those uh, values are in place or not so hit on true and dump your columns and then view your data funnel three okay okay and now let's see this data because we have we had some funnel uh, funnels in this so i mean sorry not funnel we have some nulls in this so let's see how the data looks like before we proceed to the final stage see we have null here and null here right so it's it's good okay and you see here u897 and u897 i just copy pasted the data i mean in the data in the source so yeah uh, the, the other thing is it doesn't really uh, uh find out any duplicates or anything it just it just combining everything into one it, it doesn't have any other like to remove duplicates and all that things i mean you can have like sorting but uh, even though sorting it doesn't re really remove duplicates because if the first primary key is uh, same it's going to check for the second key right so yeah that's basically uh, what happens and now let's uh, see everything everything so let's uh, choose this okay let's remove this and let's choose continuous funnel first so what what did i say continuous funnel it just uh, it doesn't wait for the other uh, record to be right in sequence. It just for random whatever the uh, link it writes, uh, whatever whatever the input record it gets first, it gonna write itself. That's it. So okay, we didn't match the columns. We didn't match uh, the columns. So input say we have this. So we we do have input right. We do have like because we have three different things. We 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 can have like three different links. And let's go to output. So yeah, we didn't match it here. It's gonna throw some errors. So let's match it here and now click on compile. Yep, 
and then he don't run. Yep, so our job is successfully run and see, okay, and see 5, 8 and 5, 13 rows. So it's just combining all the rows and making it 13, right? So yeah, now let's see the data. We we used continuous funnel, right? So continuous funnel means it doesn't have any other, uh, any order or anything. So just based upon the uh, records, it, it's, uh, it's written. I mean, because we have only small amount of data, it may not show that big difference between the funnel types. But when you have large, uh, huge volumes of data, obviously it's gonna have a uh, effect. So yep, see, there is no specific order. As soon as the record is read, it's written. As soon as the record is read, it's written. It's, there is no specific order or anything, right? Okay, now let's change the funnel type to sequence sequence okay sequence what it gonna do is it gonna write from the first uh, first data set first first it has three rows and five and five so it gonna first write the first data sets and then let me uh, let me open the data sets for you okay so the first one gonna be uh, a hundred so three records u897 okay and then it gonna have uh, what's that so w432 so after uh, u897 it will be w432 until s2 and 5 it's, it's i'm just like making uh, making it easier for you i guess or i know i'm confusing uh, i'm con probably confusing you so i'm sorry yeah so just trying to make my best that's it and yep now sequence means it gonna write from this sequential file first and then next and then next sequential order right so uh okay something is wrong with this it's not writing in sequence right because in sequence we have a walmart right oh yeah we changed the order right okay let me see, uh, let me just change the order again so yeah in link ordering we change the order right see so we are we are we are uh if this 33 28 30 so we are saying that the whatever the link in 33 it is reading first and then 28 and then uh, 30 so let's uh, let's just change it so 28 and then let's change it to 30 and 33 okay now let's see this so yeah so see how link ordering is pretty important right yeah you really need to be concerned about the link ordering when you are using sequence uh, sequence type of funnel because obviously as the name says it's sequence so yep now it should have uh, it should have this so the first one should be walmart right a hundred or something and walmart and then uh, after after that i don't know <laughs> i don't remember the data so yeah it should it should work now i guess let's let's check in a moment I'm not sure why it's not working. Okay, I know, I know. So <laughs> yeah, I messed up again. So see, uh, this is pretty good. Uh, a A two hundred. These are good, and these things they are from. Uh, let let me see. They are from the other. Even though we changed it. Um, so what is twenty eight, thirty, and thirty three, right? So what what did we do here? So yeah, I mean you need not really worry about that. Whatever is it's it's writing in a sequence. Okay so yeah that's that's pretty much about it uh, okay i'm sorry uh, i don't want to waste time on that uh, sequence uh, yeah you, you can just uh, try it yourself it's gonna write in sequence whatever the first records it's gonna have and all the records and all that stuff and now let's uh, sort this so whenever you choose sort funnel these keys gonna appear so my sort sorting key would be merchant id doesn't really make sense because we do have unique merchant ids except a few right Merchant name, we do have a unique uh, difference. So let me just uh, sort it based on the uh, status. We do have active and inactive status, right? So yeah, let me uh, let me just check on that. Ascending order or descending order, it doesn't really matter because it's just active or inactive status. And let me case sensitive, I'm not really worrying about the case sensitive. But let me check with the nulls position. So I'm telling, by default it's first, so I'm telling to make it last, okay? So now, uh, link ordering is uh, link ordering. You need not 
worry about it because it's not really worrying uh, worrying about the link order but the thing is you need to choose uh, you, you need to choose uh, I mean yeah the thing is uh, you need to choose uh, this uh, file partition over here like on the input data you need to choose the ha uh, hash I mean sorry not ha uh, file you need to choose the hash partitioning and what's your key uh, it's status uh, status right so status is your key so yeah every link uh, make sure that you you just hash partition so that every uh, everything is like all the key columns or everything uh, is fell, fall into place so I hope it's making sense to you <laughs> I'm sorry uh, I'm trying best so yeah and this output uh, yep so it's pretty much mapped right so now let's see how does this gonna uh, look uh, I mean how does this make our data to look different now run this job okay so this job is successfully run so let's check uh, the data how it gonna look look like so what did we say nulls should be in the last right and we sorted it based on the status so all the active and inactive columns should be uh, should be together right because we sorted on that so, um, among that the nulls should be last okay so yeah this seems perfect see we sorted on the status column so everything is like uh, everything is like together so see this is together and these are all together so what did we say nulls should be last right so see uh, whenever you have like uh, this thing null is last and if you have this null is last right so yeah that's how it works uh, okay something is wrong here why isn't null last in the active tab okay I mean sometimes sometimes what happens it doesn't really make sense but with yeah with huge volumes of data and with because this is my personal system the problem with this is even though i use hash partitioning and all that sometimes uh, weird things happen so yeah uh, but in the real time when you use the right amount of part, uh, right partitioning technique and all that everything falls into place so you need not really worry about that and yeah but this seems right right because we said null values should be in the last so it makes sense to me this thing i'm not sure uh, why this isn't here the air india should go up and null should be here i guess so i'm not really sure why this but yeah you don't worry about this so just exp just know the concept so that uh, when when you're trying to learn it uh, you can just design it yourself and know what's happening and uh, all that so yeah that's pretty much about the about the final stage and uh, i'm just recalling if i'm trying uh, if i'm missing anything okay uh, so I said metadata should be same right so let me show you how uh, if metadata is different even though you have one common column and you don't have any other common columns let me uh, show you what happens if metadata is not same so uh, let me choose sequential file I'll show you what's in sequential file uh, I just changed the sequential file thing and load columns I created the table definition too and okay let's see it here so what do we have in the sequential file is I just uh, made this uh, made some common column I guess it's status or something oh yeah co oh, okay it doesn't make sense so sequential okay this is not this is not the one uh, which I which I made okay let's let me just create another thing uh, but I don't want you to uh, uh, waste your time when I'm like creating because it obviously takes two to three minutes so let me just uh, come back okay before before doing that uh, let me let me show you what happens if we don't we do, if we don't have any 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 common column okay so let me just uh, yeah use this the same file sequential file and the first line in column names is uh, true and columns yep sequential file so we don't have any common columns right because we don't have a uh, serial number or course or grade so now let's see uh, what happens in this sort so we're gonna have continuous it doesn't matter which whatever uh, the thing you so you choose it doesn't matter and now go to input and everything is same right but you go to output see you don't have mapping columns because it, it it's saying that 
you don't have a uh, even though you have columns in these input links see every input link has columns right but uh, the columns are not moving to the output tab because it says uh, this means that uh, it's it's indirectly saying that you don't have the same metadata so i am unable to recognize what what you're trying to do so that's how it happens it the same thing okay i need not change it now because the same thing happens even though if you have one common column and you have two different uh two different common columns as per example because we have only three columns yeah it doesn't work that way it 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 needs to have the exact metadata it need the metadata must be identical so that's how uh, this final uh, final stage going to work so yep that's it guys that's it uh, about this final stage and let me know if you have any questions i tried my best to uh, explain it as clearly as possible and in my next stage i mean <laughs> in my next video i'm so involved with data stage and stages i'm sorry so yeah in my next video i'd gonna uh, tell about join lookup and merge i'd gonna have like probably uh, two videos on this first the theory part and basic differences and all that and the next is uh, the practical part probably uh, yeah i would make it probably three one for each uh, each thing i mean i'll figure out i'm sorry yeah, i'm i'm wasting your time so yep yeah, that's it uh, that's it guys that's it in this uh, final video let me know let me know if you have any other questions just post it on uh, post it under the under the video i'll get back to you as soon as possible and thank you everyone thanks for the appreciation and thank you for watching